I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there. Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Uh, huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know any slug. Oh, and what? You do? <laughs> I know. Oh, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh... Who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town. Uh, it's the only way to find Roxas. You gotta help us. Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chip and Dale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was re-completed like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, and since I'm manning the computer here... You guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pets. <laughs> hey!
So, what's next? Want to go back to town? So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Oh. Handsome! Oh. Samness! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Handsome and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Mm. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you tell them Captain Goofy. <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas' return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again. Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind. When one gives his heart to darkness, there is only one way to bring Roxas back which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <sighs> Set your heart free. Wait! Uh, Sarah! Uh, it's not darkness. Not if it helps him. We got this. We tried this. Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. Herc said... He said, with all my heart. Okay, then all my heart it is. I'm getting Roxas out. Are you with me? Donald? Goofy? Huh? You bet <laughs> you! I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want, but I think we better tell the others to watch out. Okay then, let's head back to town. Hmm. Need to try and catch up with Hagar and Lot. I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. <laughs> <laughs> 